I don't really like to say like I'm a lesbian or I'm bisexual. I mean, I guess that that would be what it is because I I don't really like judge people for, like if somebody likes me and if I like them back depend it doesn't matter what they have in between their legs that doesn't matter to me um, it's just if you're a good person I like you then I like you <laughs> I classify myself as a femme lesbian I've uh, been out for the past six seven years um, I'd say I'm a femme lesbian I'm attracted to, to women and so I'd say I'm a lesbian um, I am bisexual and I don't say that a lot. You know, if anyone was to ask or, you know, I'd say I'm a lesbian or, you know, I don't, well, it's not that I necessarily say that. It's what people think right off the bat, you know. She's, she's gay. She's a lesbian. I let them think that. I'm, I'm not going to correct you. I know, I know who I am and what I am. Um, but I am bisexual and a lot of people don't know that because of the way I dress. Some would consider me a dyke, but I find that extremely, um, I find that to be extremely derogatory, and I do not react well to that word. You know, others may say dom, which is not very, um, it's more, you know, politically correct, or uh, it's more proper, it's more, it's more right, you know, to, it's because dominant female, and I guess I could be, you know, placed under that label, you know, although I don't, I don't like to go by labels, and if somebody was to see me in the way I dress, they would think I'm very tough, and I'd, they'd probably think I want to be a boy, and they'd probably say I dress like a boy. To me, I dress like me, not like a boy, um, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not exactly what you think I am. I came out when I was 13. I had to think for a minute. I came out when I was 13, and it was actually um, on my 13th birthday. I had a little cookout birthday party thing, and my girlfriend at the time was there. And um, I had accidentally left Facebook message. No, there was wasn't Facebook back then. There was MySpace. I left MySpace messages open on my laptop that I had sent her a while back, and my dad saw it, and you know, it was like Camille. Like, what is this? Are, are you gay? I asked me in front of my whole family, all my friends. So that's how they found out. To Mexico, and I was 14. Yeah, I was just turned, I just turned 14. Yep. And, you know, I was on the beach with my, uh, with my stepmother and my dad. And, you know, I was talking about skateboarding because, you know, it's my life or whatever. So... You know, my stepmom, she said to me, she said, Chris, um, one of my girlfriend's son skateboards with you, and he has a huge crush on you, and you know, this and that. And my dad, kind of joking, you know, being a father and being protective, he, he was like, you know, she's not interested. She's my baby or whatever. So I was like, Dad, can I, like, talk to you for a minute? I, did, I mean, honestly, I feel like I was just waiting for the, you know, the right opportunity. Um, and I feel like that was it, so I didn't really hesitate, you know, despite the nerves that were going crazy in my mind and body or whatever. But, you know, I said, can I talk to you for a minute? And, and um, I gotta tell you something. You know, I think he knew, it was, I think he felt it coming. Um, I said, about that boy that likes me, I'm not interested. And he was like, okay, alright, no, okay, alright. And I was like, no, Dad, you don't understand. Like, I'm not interested. And he was like, no, yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. He was like, okay, let me tell you something, you know. And these are words that I will never forget from my dad because I'm a daddy's girl and I will have always been up under my dad and I always will. I was really kind of, like, forced out, but not really. It was apparent to my whole family before I ever said anything. They just... They guessed pretty much, and they just figured, you know, that mm -hmm. I was. They just sensed it. I never really liked to dress like a girl. I never liked to do girly things. Um. No, no, no. My parents still aren't okay with it. Um, it's not really something I talk about with family. Um, I feel like in the black community, we kind of have the church against us, and we're not really accepting of a homosexual lifestyle. 
So it's not something I talk about to them. They know from the, the one time when I was 13, but I don't talk about relationships. I don't talk about pride parades, none of that. Like, I think maybe they'll come around eventually. Um, you know, I'm hoping maybe after college and I'm an independent adult, no financial ties, then they might be a little more accepting. But as of now, they are not tolerant at all. Okay. All of my friends know they're all accepting. Um, I have a sister. She's a, a year younger than me. She's in college. She's very accepting, um, which is nice. But all of my friends know. Okay. I always remember what he said. He said, it, uh, Chris, listen to me. You know, uh, I don't hate anybody. I don't dislike anybody in this world except for mean people. If you're not a mean person, you're still my daughter. He's like, I don't care who you like, you know. Just... Don't be mean. If you're not a mean person, you are still a part of this family. You're still the same person, and you're still my daughter. You know, and that meant a lot to me. And But after, he proceeded to say, um, don't tell anybody. And I didn't understand. You know, I was 14. To me, that kind of hit hard. I didn't understand. I was confused as to why he would not want me to tell anyone. Maybe due to, you know, some type of embarrassment or something. But, you know, now that I'm older, I know that he said that because, you know, people judge and people talk and, you know, say hurtful things and people people are mean and they're bullies. And he knew that, you know, and he was just trying to protect me. Coming out, it helped me, you know, really decipher between who was really a true friend and who was, was not, you know. And I was, you know, like I said, I was in the eighth grade and I went to boarding school and it was all girls boarding school. And, you know, I remember I just got, I just made a Facebook, and, like, one of my first statuses was, you know, I'm bi. And everybody was, like, ranting and raving about it, you know. And my real friends, nothing changed. Absolutely nothing changed, except the fact that they have gained a little bit of knowledge about me, you know, liking the same sex. And, you know, the people who were not really my friends who had claimed to be before, dispersed. They all just disappeared. I mean... No, they weren't okay with it. But they, I guess that they were okay with it if I never said it. But once I said it, I think I actually said it to them when I was 18. And so that was, what, like... That was not good at all. When I, when I said it, they, they just got really quiet. They didn't really talk to me for a while. They acted weird about it. And I mean... I really actually didn't kind of do it. The girlfriend that I had at the time came around. She started coming around more and more. So they were just like, this has to be your girlfriend because we can tell by the way you're acting. It was really kind of awkward. The whole situation was awkward and I did not like it at all. And I'm glad I'm past that part. Um, most of them just didn't say anything about it. So I'm guessing they were okay with it or most of them were gay themselves and came out too. So. Definitely, I, there's definitely some division. Um, I can say like gay guys versus lesbian women, there's definite division. They kind of stick with themselves, we stick with ourselves. Even within the lesbian community itself, I mean, you get femmes versus studs, and then you get like uh, super, super femmy girls versus the aggressive femmes. And you know, at the end of the day, we're all we're all black. So um, you know, there's there's. And I think within any community, there can be a little bit of division. I don't think one particular community is 100% uh, like unified. We are very supportive of each other, you know what I mean? Um, I think the more and more, you know, black people who, who are coming out, um, I think it's easier nowadays because of the amount of support, you know, that we can give each other. And we, we know what it's like. We've been through it, you know, so we can help, you know, people who... Who are having a hard time? No, not really. There's a lot of division, especially with lesbians or some what people would just classify me as because I do sway more to girls than I do to boys. So I mean, it's a lot of tension between other like what they like to call doms or studs or whatever they want to call themselves. Mm -hmm. Especially between us, I don't know why people fight because they always have to be better than each other. You know. I think it basically just came from, it's pretty much the same how it is with straight people to an extent. It might be a little bit worse though for some reason, but 
a competition, always trying to take each other's girlfriends or whatever. It's, it's mostly probably just a girl thing too, because that's just how girls are. And if girls aren't straight, so not trying to take somebody's boyfriend, they're going to try to take somebody's girlfriend. I, think it, I don't think, um, you know, the fact that I am, like, makes it any more difficult um, than for anybody else, you know. But my race means a lot to me. I'm very... That's, you know, my strongest belief is in my race, you know, and I'm very proud of who I am and where I come from. I think it's hard to be black and gay, um, especially just because family is everything, and fa if family doesn't accept it, you know, you really don't have anybody else. Um, I see some of my white friends who are out, and their families love it. Not love it, but, you know, they're much more accepting. Um, I think I have it easier being a black lesbian as opposed to a black uh, gay male um, because they really, uh, a lot of these, a lot of the influences for the black community being homophobic can come from like hip hop or like the industry. Um, they drop the F-bomb and you know, it's, it's just not accepting. I mean, you get some of these rappers that, you know, their speculations that they're in the closet and because we have such a, a homophobic type of community, they stay in the closet instead of uh, encouraging one another to be ourselves. We instead choose to bash each other and, you know, throw the Bible. And I think it can sometimes turn, um, it can make, a, make someone within this community not want to come out. I think... I think it's just hard to be gay in general. Harder if you have like a family, of course, like that doesn't believe in that. Like so, like Indian people, if your daughter's gay, it's just not good. And a lot mm -hmm. of people in some cultures, if your son is gay, it's terrible. I think it's worse for some cultures, but it's t it's not a good thing in general. People look down on it. I definitely think that it's going to be more accepted um, as we get. Like maybe like around 2020, maybe like as we like as we progress with figuring new things out, building new cars, finding new cures for like certain diseases and stuff, we get more advanced, and I guess people will just forget about certain things and accept more things. It's definitely being a lot more accepted, especially with the celebrities that we have, like Lady Gaga and stuff like that. Like a mm -hmm. few years ago, they would have like. She would not have been accepted at all. It really worries me for the males, you know, who are, you know, coming out. I mean, more and more, you know, are being comfortable with it and, you know, you know, coming out and saying, I'm proud of who I am. But I do, I'm, I, I do hold a lot of concern and fear for the black males, you know, because it's, it's hard. I mean, being a male, especially, yeah. and coming out is so hard. You know, because everybody has this idea of what a man is supposed to be, and when you when you break that, you know, and when you're not that, everybody automatically like bullies and jumps on you, and like you're not this, you're not what you're supposed to be. When really, like, nobody is what society tells them they're supposed to be. If you really want to, but everybody tries to act like you know, you know, I'm this and that, and I'm doing the right thing, and you're doing the wrong thing, and it's not. We're all right, and we're all wrong all the time, and. You know, but as for females, I don't think, I mean, the black community is pretty um, loving of, you know, the lesbian, bisexual, you know, women. <laughs> I mean, I, not just because, you know, you know, everybody like, everybody likes lesbians, not, not anything like that. It's just, it's. For some reason, society has this idea, you know, especially in the black communities, that, you know, a woman being with another woman is attractive. So, with that being said, much love is shown to, you know, the women.